Well, things are working out pretty good. I've got the head basically put back together. I need to do some wiring work on the electrosan and then enclose everything with the uh, cabinetry and then I'll be done. So we're not quite there, but we're awfully close. Come and have a look. So there you have it. Got the uh, cloth installed and then the I put a vented loop at the top that was not there previously and that was causing some problems so put the vented loop in and I have a wire valve to choose discharge directly out or into the electrosan unit. The electrosan is sitting there, it's not fixed in permanently but it will be once I've finished wiring it and then I'll put the cabinetry back together and we'll be good to go. So we're getting closer and closer. It's another happy shiny day here aboard Little Bear. Work is progressing rather nicely. I've got the bow pulpit and stern lights installed and wired. Come take a look. My stern light which should work out okay. I'm, I don't know how that will affect or interfere with navigation. I'm hoping that it won't. At night if I'm sitting here in the cockpit. I hope that's not in my eyes. Well, pulpit light starboard side, port side looking nice and red. So the lights project is more or less done. I've got some tidying up to do. I need to fasten down all the cable runs that are in the hidden spaces in the boat. I need to make sure that they're not loose and flapping around because they will chafe or get caught on something as we move stuff around. So the next project I want to work on is the bilge pump. I started working on that about four weeks ago and the time has come to dig into it and make it happen. The boat doesn't leak and my bilges are quite dry um, so my stuffing, stuffing box isn't leaking. Uh, there hasn't been much rain so I can't say it doesn't uh, leak from rain but my bilges are dry. But and the off chance that I do get a leak, that pump needs to be working and it needs to have a hose exiting the water outboard. So I'm going to do that. After that, the project after that is to fix the electrosan unit, but that is a project that will require help from Raritan. So we'll leave that for another day. Meanwhile, we're going to get busy on the uh, bridge pump. Wish me luck.
So far, so good. I was a little bit worried about taking on this task for the simple reason that that hose, the bilge pump hose, the old one, runs up over a fuel tank and into the bulwark, which of course is filled with foam. So upon initial investigation, I realized there's no way I could get to the end of the hose that fits on the through haul. So I decided to take a chunk out of the bulwark like I did for the uh, top nuts of the chain plates. So it's kind of worrisome to take a big chunk out of that and uh, then think about or have to think about putting it back. But it seemed to be the most simple solution and uh, perhaps the most elegant. It sure saves bashing up the arms. I wouldn't have been able to do it uh, because it was just too cramped and awkward. Let me show you. So the the hose comes that red hose is the old bilge hose and it comes from the bilge up through the engine compartment and then it goes up over the fuel tank and to the through hole. So the fuel tank sits under the deck. That's that's the filler fort right there, so it's quite long. It comes back to about here or so, and it's quite deep. The edge of the tank is probably about right here, and it goes all the way out here. It's kind of an odd, very odd shape. And it's the, the good tank. The tank on the um, starboard side is rusted out, so um, I can't use that one, but this one is still good, and that's where my fuel is. So I use the whole saw. And then I used a sawzall to cut out the hole. And down in there you can see the through hole fitting. It's a nice brass fitting, so I wanted to retain that and keep it. And the problem I had or was concerned about was actually getting a tool in here to undo the hose clamp and then try and get the hose off. These old hoses, once they've been on a fitting like that for a few years, they stick. Um, and you need get some leverage on there. So the way I dealt with it was to was to use a razor blade and to cut through the the hose lengthwise and then I used a, a screwdriver to pry the pry the edge of the hose off the fitting and then once it was peeled back far enough it just came off. Then the next challenge was to route the new hose. You can see I've managed to get the hose up and over and down there. And the way that I did that was to feed it from the top and then reach up and grab the end and then just pull it through. The next part of this chore will be to get the hose over the through haul and put a, a clamp back on it and do it up tight. Uh, the reason why that's going to be a challenge is simply because of room. There really isn't a whole, whole lot of room in there to work. So I've got to pull the hose back far enough to get it over the fitting and then somehow push it onto the fitting. So hopefully I can do that without um, going completely mental. But that will have to be done on another day. The... Uh, The day is wearing on, and it's a work day, it's a Wednesday afternoon, and I think I've had enough, and I'd like to go home, have some supper, have a nice evening. If you look around behind me, you can see the haze. If you look, look over towards the trees there, it looks misty, foggy, cloudy. Well, it's actually quite warm out. It's about 75 degrees outside, and what you're looking at is the smoke from the wildfires here in British Columbia. There aren't any fires really near us. They're actually a few hundred miles away from us, but they're uh, giving off so much smoke that the smoke is following the valleys through the mountains and um, blowing down here into the lower mainland. So air quality here right now is abysmal. There's actually uh, air quality warnings out for people with asthma and lung conditions and so on. So it's not really bugging me that much, but it sure isn't very nice. So with that, 
I will sign off. Uh, bid you a good evening, and we'll get back at it tomorrow. <laughs>